Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? <laughs> We're at a castle at the moment, Loch Mabin Castle. Yeah. We've just done that video. I think you'll quite enjoy that. If you haven't seen it already, a uh, link up there. Just click the little I, I and uh, watch the video up there. What we're trying to do is put the videos of the actual places separate to the vlogs. So that's why we're doing it as we're doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what's <laughs> next, Mazzy? What we're we doing now I today? I know, but that was freezing and my nose is running in. <laughs> it wasn't freezing. It was it five was. degrees Celsius. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> it's foggy. It's a, it was early. Yeah, um, definitely early. I had a lot of problems today with, well, through the night, for the last two days, uploading videos, yeah. not having a good reception, leads for charging, plugging into me, chargers and things not working. Yeah, we've got uh, some getting delivered today though, so we've got to go and pick them up. Yeah, it's a 12 volt battery, mm. which goes into the laptop, hopefully, yeah. into the Apple Mac. That's fingers crossed, because if that doesn't work, really going to struggle, because the laptop's empty every night yeah. I'm, i haven't i just can't edit enough videos so we'll see anyway uh, we're heading back towards the same place as we've stayed the last two nights we're going to do robert the bruce's cave now and then we'll go back there and get some more editing done yeah and we've got a couple of postcards to write we have we've got some postcards <laughs> yeah. to write thank you for your orders thank from the you. shop um if anyone would like anything, there's a link in the description to the shop. Go yeah. to traveltrolls.tv, that's the web address, <laughs> and click on shop. Um, yeah, leave it at that for now. For now. See you in a bit. We've got to try and get out of here. Dan's brought us down this really narrow lane with potholes everywhere. It's dreadful. Definitely not suitable for a motorhome. What'd you say? You... <laughs> if it'll fit, I'll get it in. <laughs> this is going to be interesting trying to get out of here. Give them a quick view of the castle. Can you see oh, the castle, yeah, guys? Oh, yeah, there's the castle, guys. And it's all fenced off because it's uh, yeah. it's falling to bits, basically. But we did get to go in. Oh, that's a nice view we didn't get, has it? Yeah, we didn't get that, did we? Anyway. There, you're lucky, guys. Get to see this bit. <laughs> Very interesting history. I'm glad we came anyway. Yeah. What is it? In class 86. Dan used to be a train spotter, didn't you? <laughs> I was very young. There we can go. So we're on the way to go and pick Dan's parcel up now. Some leads to um, charge the laptop up via 12 volt and we think we actually have to go to the pub today don't we <laughs> yeah, we have to go to the pub it's the only place with a good reception and we can plug the laptop into the plugs while we're there and it is very cheap so yeah we went yesterday we only had three drinks didn't we it's not that we're staying all day getting drunk we're just doing what we have to do yeah you spent most of the day editing in there didn't you I did so and we might have some lunch again, we'll see. Yep. Dan's gone to go and get his parcel. <clears throat> We've had to park precariously on the path, just quick. <laughs> I hope he hurries up, I'm starving. What's up, babe? Depressed. <laughs> You're not depressed. depressed. You're just sad. <sighs> Look at the state of me. I've got my laptop here. I've got a lead going in there. Let's try and get some power to that. I've got my phone trying to get power with a new lead to my power bank. I've got a lead going into my three connection, trying to upload. Signal's not good enough. My camera's crying. Still got a lead coming out of him. <laughs> There was hundreds of leads on here a minute ago, wasn't there? <laughs> People are going to be thinking, by the time you've seen this, you'll know we've sorted the problem out. 
but people are going to think we're not uploading videos and I'm trying my very very best it's weird because the signal here is brilliant isn't it the Wi-Fi in the book is wonderful for yeah. page going through pages but for some reason uploading is just not having it and our networks on his phones aren't working I don't know what I'm going to do so sorry guys if we haven't put a video up for a few days yeah. we're not sure are we really trying his best <laughs> yeah okay I'm just going through if you remember the other day I asked people to send in designs which we could possibly put onto t-shirts and I just want to show these two off now this is a great effort thank you so much this is detector Jim I do appreciate what you've done there I do it's just the trolls I don't like I'm trying to get away from these and what I'd really like to do is get two trolls which look like us properly but I do like the idea. I like I, I like what you've done, Jim. Yeah. Detector Jim. Thank you so much for that. And the fan. Maybe and the fan's like cool. That. It's it's cool. I, I like it. Yeah. But we're not going to use that design. I hope you don't mind, buddy. Um, but it's a, a good effort. Now there is this one which has come in. Who sent this, Mazzy? Do you know? Mark Jeffcott. Mark Jeffcott. And look at this. He is a graphic designer, or he used to be, or something. But that is our van. Yeah, let's see, we've got like the... Um, it's got a number plate. Yeah. It's got everything, it is perfect. But I personally would like us in it as well, so although it's brilliant... Well, yeah, us in it, maybe. Yeah. But I can use that for any design, but I also like what he's done. Van life, because life doesn't come with instructions. I think we're going to use that. Um, we'll certainly use the van. Well, I don't know. We're going to do something. We're, that's it's definitely a winner. We're going to be using that, so thank you very much. So Mark also has a YouTube channel and is really trying to get it to grow at the moment. It's called Warped Workshop. So please, guys, uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel and see what, what else he can do. But thank you very much, Mark. We'll be using that and we'll be in touch. I don't know. We'll have to do something for you. For coming up with that design but that is brilliant more of them please if anyone can do things like that for us what we really want is two trolls which look like us so we can put them in or next to the motorhome that would be fantastic brilliant Are you happy with that yeah i'm well pleased yeah good morning say good morning good morning everybody lovely to see you all this beautiful sunny morning it was freezing when we got up there, so I got me out and my scarf and gloves and all sorts. It went cold. It was the first day we've had ice and yeah. it was cold this morning. We need to come up with some kind of heating solution. Yeah. Um, if anyone's got any ideas how we can get some heat in here, 12 volt preferably. Yeah, 12 volt heating, <laughs> I think that's what we need. Yeah. We have got, we can put heating on. It's no good. It's using gas and it, it's it's not very good it's good for warming the water up and that's about it um, yeah. I think it's not worth using the the it's gas the gas <laughs> just to warm up we need another solution so please in the comments right we're going to head now to the Lockerbie Garden of Remembrance um, the Lockerbie air disaster I was there a few years ago you might remember in on the Deep Digger Dam channel and we're going back there just because we're passing it just to show Mazzy so we're just in the, well, we're just going to the Lockerbie Garden of Remembrance. Um, all about the plane crash. I don't know what year it was. I think it was 1988, 89 would be my guess. It sounds a bit weird, but it's absolutely beautiful in here today. The sun, all the shadows coming off the uh, gravestones. It's so peaceful and lovely. So here's the memorial, guys. I've decided I'm not going to do a separate video for this. I'm just going to add this onto the vlog. Um, see, I don't know. It seems a bit disrespectful. But yeah, you've got all the crew here. Look, it was uh, 1988, December the 21st, and people have left some lovely little things. Little thing made out of wood there. Little cross. Little note there. 
God bless all the people who died in the terrible terrorist attack. May God be with you all by your side. Love, Caroline. So yeah, just reading my notes on that place. Um, it was Wednesday the 21st of December 1988 when a bomb exploded on a flight a Boeing 747 from London to New York all 243 passengers were killed 16 crew members and 11 people on the ground as it spread out over a huge area around the town of Lockerbie all you older people will know all about it um, but your younger people like Mazzy didn't even know about it I've heard of it you've heard of it but didn't know the details. here's an interesting little fact for you about Lockerbie while we're here the bloodiest family feud in Scottish history took place here in Lockerbie. There was a thousand people from Clan Maxwell and they went to kick in the heads of Clan Johnson. But they weren't very clever, weren't the Maxwells? And they were crossing a river or something and they were all getting killed over the Annan water and they were getting hit by swords and just slayed down. 700 of the Max out of them thousand got killed yet there were only, I think, 200, a few hundred Johnsons, there were a thousand Maxwells, but 700 of the Maxwells got killed and they were hit by swords and just slayed down, giving the nickname uh, the Lockerbie Lick. So, if you ever get killed by a sword in Lockerbie, it's known as the Lockerbie Lick. I've heard of the Chelsea Smile, a football hooligan thing where they cut you from there to there. Never heard of a Lockerbie Lick before, though. Check the view out guys, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Scotland, we're near Moffat and um, we just drove through Moffat which is a big, bigger place than I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a tiny little village but we're just on our way to the waterfall now, it's another nine mile on here and yeah the scenery is for the first time actually beautiful but the roads are getting really skinny. <laughs> So beautiful, and we just saw a sign for a road sign that said, What did it say? Uh, uh, warning red squirrels. You don't want to be running over red squirrels, there's not many of them left. Look where we are, guys. This is amazing, isn't it, babe? It is. Just parked here, middle of nowhere. So, this is where we're going, we're heading to, I'm assuming, and I think we've got to go over this hill which I'm really scared because I've got my wellies on and they can get quite slippery. Yeah. 